Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at Terry Bogart, the newest fighter in Smash Ultimate. I'll be walking you through some of Terry's combos, kill confirms, and general tips for how to use this really unique character. This guide is going to be structured a little differently from my Pac-Man guide. Terry's game plan is pretty different from a lot of the other fighters, so this guide will be organized by different parts of his gameplay. I'll, I'll start with the specials, then I'll probably move on to bread and butter combos, then neutral, followed by kill options. So let's hop right into it with a guide on his special moves. His neutral special is Power Wave. If you hold this move down for a little bit longer than normal, it can go faster, and if you just tap it, it goes slower. The one that's held longer does a little bit more damage, but it's pretty negligible. His forward special is Burning Knuckle. This move does 15 damage, hold it longer, it goes farther, and I can believe. Oh, it does do more damage, my bad. Um, so it does a little more damage if you hold longer, but it also has more lag if you hold longer, so that's just the risk right there that you have to take if you want to do that. His down special is called Power Dunk. If you hold it longer, then he jumps up higher, but they both do the same damage. Um, this move can be used to get down from the stage faster, or to get down to the stage faster. Um, it's a really good combo ender. If you are doing like a jab combo, then you're going to want to end it with that. Land it up there. Yeah. Just in general, any uh, normal that could be cancelled into a special, down special does the most damage, so that's power dunk for you. I'll go into cancelling normals into special moves later on, but his up special is rising tackle. Rising tackle. Um, it goes decently far. It's not really the best recovery move. Something that is pretty notable is that his feet on that move, um, his feet are invincible. His feet and legs are both invincible, actually. So if you're recovering on the ledge, you often find your feet going over the ledge a little bit when you're trying to recover, unless you get the perfect distance. Um, but the feet can still hit people, and so can the legs although they can't hit you, so in certain ranges, if you space it correctly, you can actually get your hitbox above the ledge to hit people who are hogging the ledge for you without being in danger yourself, so that's pretty notable. Um, and something that's really unique to Terry, I'm sure you might have noticed by using him or just from watching the direct, is that for the most part, he always faces his opponent. And something that they gave Terry that no other character has is a back special. So his other side special I mentioned, which is burning knuckle, is if you press forward and B, but if you hold back and B, you do crack shot, which is this sort of side flip, back kick kind of thing. Um, yeah, crack shot is really going to be used as an anti-air and to approach really quickly over projectiles. It's a pretty decent burst option. Um, it also has decent distance, so if you're off stage and you need to recover, you can use this to get closer to the stage a little bit. But overall, the move is pretty simple and not used for too much. But something that's unique about his special moves, I guess it's not unique because Ryu and Ken also have this, is that you can do special command inputs, which is where you press a few directions on your movement stick and then press either A or B to do a more powerful version of the move. Um, I'll start with Burning Knuckle, which is his forward special. To do the special input for that, you do down, diagonal, forward, and then forward. But really, it's easiest to think about it as you hold down, and then move your stick all the way along the edge forward. It's up to you. I usually prefer A, but most people prefer to press down. So that goes from 16.3 damage to... 21.4 damage, so it's a really significant buff. I don't believe it buffs the range at all on forward special, but you can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, his back special is the same as his forward special, just a quarter of a circle behind him. Um, something also to note is that he can't turn around in the air until he reaches the ground. So if you're facing away from your opponent and you do a back special or a forward special, you're gonna go the you're gonna go away from it like this. If I try to do a back special. Oh, sorry about that. If I try to do a back special, a lot of the times it'll just send me the other way. If you try to do a forward special, it's obviously 
and then send you away from them as well. So it's just really important, especially when recovering, to keep in mind what direction you're facing. I've been SDing a lot, a lot of players have, especially early on when Terry came out, because I forgot that I was facing a certain direction. I chose a recovery option that actually moved me farther away from the ledge. So that's just something to keep in mind in general. But the crack shot goes from doing 19 damage to... Oh, I guess they're both 19 damage. The special input and his um, special input and regular side B are both 19 damage. Oh, but um, his special input goes way more. That's, I should have been more prepared, but whatever, I can, I can do whatever I want in my video. <laughs> um, his power dunk, all you have to do is press forward, down, and diagonal forward. And that's like that. And does this, does, I believe, 3.1 more damage. Oh, 3. It does about 2 more damage, so not too much. But he also has some invincibility. Terry turns blue. That means that he's fully invincible. I just want to do the regular one. He's not invincible at all. But when you do the command input, he's invincible up until about the apex of his jump. So if you really want to do an anti air with that move and maybe get some kills with it to punish people from approaching you in that angle, that can be an option. His rising tackle command input is really weird and not used a lot. I'll actually keep this on slow speed so I can demonstrate this. His regular rising tackle looks like that and only his feet and legs are invincible. But if you do, if you hold down for a moment and then press up and then like his whole body is invincible for the thing, for the whole uh, invincibility duration. So that one isn't really used in too many situations because kind of have to spend actual time holding down. It's not like the other ones where on a win, you just do, if you're on a combo and you finally get the jab confirmed, you do power dump because you can just do the input as fast as you can. You actually had to hold down for a moment to do um, the special version of Rising Tackle. But something that is notable for that is one of Terry's th bread and butter throw combos is at like around 0%. Down throw, up air, up B. Um, but if you use the C stick to do up air with your movement stick, you can still hold down to actually keep charging his special input for his up B so you can get in a little more damage. But it's kind of hard because you can't buffer it. The buffer system would make the up air be a down air. But yeah, that did 34.9 damage, doing it normally, and do 32 damage. So it's just a slight optimization, but I usually go for it because I've practiced it enough. But I can usually get it down. So that's pretty much all for his special moves. I'll go into more of their uses later on in the guide when I talk about his neutral and his advantage state. But um, let's just quickly review some of his normals. On the ground, jab is frame three really fast. And as I've shown you a few times, it can cover big damage. And that's actually one of his main kill confirms is jab. Another one of Terry's broken moves is down tilt, which has fixed knockback for the most part. At a certain percent, it just caps out. So you can always combo into grab, although the ultimate can't tell you if you combo into a grab. That's just how the combo counter works, it won't tell you. And you can always combo into jab, which as I just said, is kind of busted. You can use down tilt to poke and start your move. So Terry has a lot of options that are really just focused around getting those two moves to do your big damage and your kills. So I think those two moves are very important. You're going to want to learn how to land those moves. Um, his forward tilt has his leg, the entire leg that he gets forward being invincible. And his up tilt also has his arm invincible. So up tilt can be used as an anti-air. It's kind of hard to see because he he's only invincible as he thrusts his arm up. But kind of see it when I slow it down. Yeah, in the middle, his, his arm's invincible. It's not too big of a deal for up tilt. I think four tilt's invincibility is a lot more useful, but they both have their uses. Especially since both canceled into specials. Um, that's pretty much it with his grounded normals. His dash attack 
is one of his key moves that he has to rely on if you have trouble finding kills. You can also end combos if you like forward air. Then you can just dash attack to get big damage. Or you can go for an echo, burning people. Um, that's a lot more consistent. Um, later on, I'll show you some really high damage, games, but we don't have those yet. I'll explain later. He has a really interesting mechanic called the go time, which when he's at 100% or more, he gets access to two more special moves. So just a little teaser for later. I'm not going to talk about that right now. That was Rob's ACP. I need to adjust Harry's. My bad. I'm not going to talk about that right now, but you can confirm a lot into those moves later. But usually you get those later on in your stocks or if you have a big lead. So it's not too important right now. I'm just going over basic neutral. Anyway, really something that's extremely important for Terry's game plan is getting power dunk because power dunk not only does it okay? Oh, I just accidentally did a thing, my bad. Uh, well, yeah, well, I thought I would save that for later, but shush, you didn't see that. Um, Harry's, er, Harry's power dunk, as I've said a billion times, does a ton of damage, and it's really one of the super important parts of the gameplay that you're going to want to be fishing for. It's probably his best kill option, and it's really easy to combo into from anything. Something I also forgot to mention, which I'll mention now, is um, Terry's jab, forward tilt, down tilt, up tilt, can all cancel into specials. So all of his grounded normals except dash attack. And all of his aerials except forward air and back air can combo into special moves, or can cancel into special moves. So up air can, neutral air can, and down air can. But again, forward air and back air cannot. So just when you're labbing combos on your own or trying to freestyle some gameplay, keep that in mind. So like I said, you can do that, but it's not really true. Um, that jab into burning knuckles. Something you can go for if you don't think your opponent's going to air dodge you. It kills a little earlier than um, power dunk, but usually power dunk is the safer bet, especially since it does a tiny bit more damage. But yeah, for killing, power dunk is super safe and super easy to go for once you get the combos down. At first, Terry seems really weird, but once you get, especially just down to jab, jab, power dunk, you can just start doing 31 damage every time you get one of those two moves. His down tilt is frame 6, I forgot to mention. Up tilt is frame 7, and forward tilt is frame 8. So they're all from 6 to 8. And his jab, again, is frame 3. So that's very important for Terry, just focus on, if you're going to focus on anything for Terry, you should probably focus on getting the yeah, confirms power dunk, or really getting any power dunk. Um, for his throws, they're not too useful, as I said earlier, he has down throw into up air at very low percents, and also you can alternatively go for down throw to up tilt, if you don't have rage, but down throw to up tilt only works if Terry is also like super low percent. I don't know why some people go for that down throw up there leads to a lot more damage, especially since you can special cancel it to another special. But some people go for down throw up tilt. Just don't do it. That's one of my best pieces of advice. It's never worth it, and it works only when you're both at really low percent. Back to his throws. His throws are all actually kind of terrible. Down throw can combo, up throw can kind of combo, but down throw is a better combo and they do the same thing. But none of these get close to kill it, as you can see. Um, something that is notable is that his forward throw and back throw do do the most damage, they both do 12.6, but throws aren't really what you're going to look for. He's kind of like Greninja or Fox, where Terry doesn't really, he doesn't have good throws at all, but he has to rely on them to open your portal for other stuff. So, for example, Fox, I would say, has some of the worst throws in the game, but because of the way that Fox plays, you still have to throw to prevent him from staying in shield. Um, that's just something to 
look for with parry is that you're going to want to eventually make sure they're not just shielding on the approach options, especially if you're down a lot of percent. It's better to go for a lot of neutral wins instead of one giant combo or something. So just keep in mind when they're shielding and open them up with grabs sometimes. Other than that, these throws are all pretty mediocre. So, in neutral, Terry really doesn't do good approaching someone who's playing really defensive, and he also doesn't do the best defending against someone who's really aggressive. He kind of plays more like a Meta Knight or Pit, where you want to play in between. You want to make your opponent approach with Power Wave and just spacing forward air, landing up air, which is a little safer than all of his other aerials, and as well just throws. Just making your opponent do stuff that they have to take risks, and then catching them on guard and punishing their risk with big damage. His neutral is very weird from a lot of other fighters. It's pretty complicated and honestly not the best. Um, some punishes you're gonna have to look for are a frag shot to um, grabbing out of shield. This is probably his best out of shield option. Grabbing and nair, my bad. Nair is what I meant to say. Nair is good out of shield option. And also, if you're quick enough out of shield, you can cancel nair into some special moves at low percent. I haven't honestly done this too much, but yeah, should connect it in crack shot just fine like there I just did. But his neutral is pretty much focused on making your opponent take risks, which to do that, you're going to have to not commit yourself while also stuffing out their options. He is more so about stuffing out your opponent options and never really going for out of shield options. So his Nair is frame 4, which is pretty good, but that's that's not what you're going to want for Terry. So now I think it's probably about time that I talk about Go. So you see Terry's health bar about above it and to the left it will it says Go. And when that happens, it's active. So Buster Wolf, which is that lovely move, and Power Geyser. Both of these kill very early, and they're very destructive to take stocks when your opponent really doesn't expect it. Um, to do Buster Wolf, you can only do these by command inputs. No B button shenanigans like all the noobs have to do. That was a joke, by the way. Don't flame me. His Buster Wolf, you have to go down, diagonal, forward, forward, twice. So you do that you twice, and press A or B. Although an easier way to think about it is just you move your, you put your stick down and then you press forward, down, forward. Are you okay? Down, forward, down, forward, A or B. Um, his power geyser, which is also an amazing move, especially for anti air. You can see that hitbox is giant. Um, I'm just gonna switch characters. His hitbox on Power Geyser is giant, and you can use that for anti-airing people, and it's honestly more of a defensive tool, I've noticed. You either confirm it to it, or use it to stuff out approaches when you have a big lead. But his Power Geyser is able to be confirmed into from, I believe, Nair. No, not Nair, sorry. Although, actually, Nair might work, but it's not something you want to go for. You want to go for up tilt, down tilt, um and jab usually for Power Geyser. Also, something to note is that Power Geyser and Buster Wolf can only be performed on the map. So don't try to go for it. I've tried, it does not work. But to combo into Buster Wolf, you can do more tilts to Buster Wolf. And you can do down tilt, well down tilt into Buster Wolf. It doesn't work, so catch people off guard. It looks like a command grab, but it's not. It's kind of like Isabelle's fishing rod. The fishing rod that you can just shield. But it's also kind of a grab at the same time. It's a little weird, but um, just know it has to connect with an opponent who's not shielding. It can go through projectiles and weak normals because it has 8% armor, so it can withstand 8% damage. 
but that's usually something you don't want to worry about. It's good when you need to get in against like an Ivysaur or a Young Link through a Boomerang. Um, but yeah, this move is for calling out people to landing. You can do the inputs in the air and do Buster Wolf on the ground. Um, and you can also combo into it. You can combo into both of these super special moves from Forward Tilt. Um, instead of doing uh, Power Dunk, you can do Jab, Jab, and Buster Wolf. And that's not a true com combo, but just like down to Buster Wolf, but even more so. It can really catch people off guard. I honestly go for this a lot. I pretty much go for it every time when I do have the chance to get a jab when I'm past 100%. Just because right now I'm kind of testing out the limits of how often I should be going for it and how often it will work on people. Of course, people are going to adapt, but I'd say it's not really a mix up you should go for until you have habits on what your opponent or since until you have a read on your habits of what your opponent does in disadvantage. So if you know that they really are trying to air dodge frame one out of frame, don't go for it. But if they just try to FDI and DI out or maybe just do their fastest aerial to counterattack. Especially since the armor comes out. Um so that's two of his really strong kill options when he doesn't have the go meter terry kind of has to take risks for kills you when you don't have go you want to be doing um dash attack is really good i didn't say pack that a little percent so that won't work but dash attack back air down smash which i'm not sure why nobody's talking about this but see that decent range and that Average power, pretty low average power for smash attack, but still decent enough you can kill with it. His down smash is frame 8. That's kind of crazy. That's as fast as his forward tilt. Down tilt, I've actually used a lot in ledge trapping, and it's been a very useful move for with punishing because Harry kind of crouches down and his leg comes out at a really good angle. And the hitbox, the sweet spot, lasts as long as Harry's leg is out. So, can actually catch some spot dodges or some ledge getups with that if you time it kind of at the right time. It doesn't have to be super perfect because like I said it lingers. Um, but I'll go into his other smash attacks. Up smash is pretty good out of shield and for catching landing if someone does a risky recovery mix up and you read it and you're able to catch their landing with a up smash. Forward smash kills very early but it comes out in frame 18 which is pretty slow. It looks really cool, I love the animation. But you only really want to be going that going for that to punish people for making mistakes and disadvantage. Or or just calling out an air dodger or something or a roll. It's kind of a hard read option. A lot of characters have one smash attack that's slower but has a ton of power. Kinda of like Wolf's forward smash and Meta Knight's forward smash. But that's pretty much it for killing. I wish I could say more, but as I mentioned earlier, his kill options are not too varied. Power dunk, I can actually show you now. That power dunk does kill pretty early. Um, probably kills Pac- Pac-Man is tied with Robin, and I believe Roy or Krom with is tied with them for the middle weight, so I suggest testing a lot of your combos on Pac-Man, because he's his fall speed is pretty normal, and his weight is exactly average, but uh, anyway, this isn't a Pac-Man video, this is a Terry video. So yeah, jab, jab, power dunk, if I can get it, because I'm going to it right now and I always mess stuff up. Jab, jab, power dunk will probably kill Pac-Man with DI at 115 or 120, but that's just from mid-stage. A lot of the times where you're going to be getting this, is close to the end of the stage. So you can get really early stocks, like 90 or 80. Um, I think I should probably talk about ledge trapping right now because I think that's something that is kind of slept on with Terry. I think his ledge trapping game is actually like really good. Um, this is going to be a little hard to test, or really hard to show because of the camera. So I might kind of zoom out. Uh, amount. No, that's way too much. Uh, 
don't know how to do this. I should have thought about this earlier. But let's just try something like this. Okay, so you can see me on the right side of the ledge. I'm going to try to combo counter off so you can see me. Terry's forward air lingers for a long time. And especially if there's a platform here, you can just be kind of chilling out on the platform. And this move can actually cover all of your opponent's options if you drift back a little bit for a roll and forward for a neutral getup, depending on how slim they are. The thing it covers the worst is um, jumping, but it still covers that, and I think it's scary enough that your opponent might not want to go for it, especially if you do a runoff falling forward air. Um, at lower percents, if you land this forward air, you can probably go for uh, a down air or an up air or another forward air just to tack on some more damage. But forward air itself is already an amazing ledge trap. Because Terry also because Terry always faces the opponent, you can just hold jab. And if they do a neutral get up, the jab will hit. If they do a get up attack, that'll hit Terry, so that'll actually beat him. But if they roll, which you can kind of bait out by going really close to the ledge, then Terry will automatically turn around and start jabbing them, which as I've said, and a billion times is very good for Terry. His jab combos are pretty much the cornerstone of his gameplay. So you can, if someone's on the ledge and you read them, you read their neutral get up with a jab and you actually get the jab, then you can do uh, combo that okay? power dunk and get really right at the ledge. Um, other than that, it's really important, I think, to down smash. If you're like, just kind of poking around and shielding a little bit, and just doing general, just throwing out options just to kind of scare your opponent and bait them into doing something. If you either do maybe a roll you're not expecting or a neutral get up that you're not quite prepared to cover, down smash because it's frame 8 can be really good in that, so I suggest experimenting with that a lot. That is pretty much it for his ledge trapping. Um, I'll go with his edge guarding now, which is going to be pretty simple. He has down air, which is the best. He has neutral air, with which lingers, so for a lot of recoveries that um, don't have hitbox, especially in the middle, like Inklings doesn't have one in the middle, you can jump off the level and do a nair kind of close to the stage to cover a lot of those. But forward air also lingers, as I mentioned a little while ago, so I usually go for forward air. It's Angle of attack is very unique for a forward air, and I actually think it's pretty useful and kind of slept on. It doesn't do the most damage, and it definitely doesn't kill, but I think just the hitbox alone is very unique, and people haven't really been utilizing that to its full extent. Back air is good for catching people's jumps. If you think they're going to jump back on stage, back air kills very early and does a ton of damage, so go for that if you know you have their read. But that's pretty much it with edge guarding. I don't really edge guard too much with Terry. I think he's better um, set. He's better on the stage ledge trapping. Uh, two things that I just remembered for ledge trapping is that his power wave, if you do it in the air, just does this wave in front of him. So it doesn't do the most damage. Because, like, 13, I guess. Around 13 to 12, so not the best damage, but it does cover a lot of stuff and it's fairly fast. So, something that you can do to, again, cover every option as long as you have a read on their timing is stand right about here and do a quick jump uh, power wave. And that covers all the options that you probably know. Um, I think that's another ledge trap that people are really underestimating and not respecting. I've gotten a lot of mileage off of that, so I suggest you coordinate that to your gameplay. But that's probably going to be it for ledge trapping. There's not much else to say, really. Terry, I feel like I've gone over everything, you know? Terry just, just kind of does. If I, I'm going to say anything to end this video, it's that learning how to confirm consistently into our help. Which I'm used to the online timing. Too consistent with it. It's really gonna be important. You don't have to lab too much with Terry. 
but this is definitely something that you're really going to want to get down. Jab, jab. Terry has a three-part jab, but only the first two can be cancelled in the specials, by the way, so just go for jab, jab. And if you want to do the mix-up, jab, jab. But, um, that's pretty much going to be it. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to see more guides from me, then suggest in the comments or check out my Instagram, which I believe right now is Evil Emperor Nerd. Um, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed the video.